Are you a Thousand Trails member? So are we. Well, did you know that they plan on closing all the Thousand Trails parks from New Jersey down to Georgia? Stay tuned because we've got the information you need to know today. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Dan from Compass Road. Kevin is out with Ava and uh, just enjoying the day. We're here in Branson, Missouri right now. But I wanted to tell you about something that was sincerely disheartening to me that we saw on a Facebook group post uh, just a few days ago. The post was written in the Thousand Trails Chesapeake Preserve Friends, and I'm gonna show you the actual post right here. And the admin of the group is actually addressing all the Thousand Trails members. And uh, he mentions, I uh, highlighted the, the important parts in yellow. You can read the actual entire conversation or post at your own leisure. But he talked about Equity Lifestyles, ELS plans to close all campgrounds on the East Coast from November through the end of March from New Jersey down to Georgia, including our campground Thousand Trails Chesapeake Bay. Now he did point out that while some of the more northern campgrounds have historically closed during the winter months, many of the ones from Virginia down to Georgia stay open year round or modified weekend schedules. He further advised that, hey, remember this is not a local campground decision. Park managers and staffs are all the messengers. They have no choice but to carry out ELS's poor decision. So please don't take your anger out on them. Well. In there, he explains about full-timers and uh, people that have annual sites over there, uh, what they do for the winter months, etc., accessing their trailers, and so on and so forth. Now, we are just what we call transient campers in Thousand Trails, which we mean, which means we just go to the campgrounds themselves and use them while we're there. We don't leave our trailer vacant and just leave it there for a season or so. He also puts the blame on the Thousand Trails representatives at the park saying that they're closing down this year for certain reasons like renovations, park upgrades, etc. cetera. And um, this was kind of concerning for us as well. Some things that I wanna specifically point out in this post that you need to know is Thousand Trails campgrounds will close on the East Coast from New Jersey to Georgia starting in November and remain closed until sometime in March to all members. And additionally, he wrote at a footnote, we do not know what all the parks are doing on the East Coast, so we encourage you to speak with your local park manager and post your findings. And he goes on with all the information how people watching the post can actually go and address ELS, send them a letter, send them email correspondence, etc. Well, this news was specifically disheartening and as you can see there were a lot of post readers on there concerned because they had already made reservations for their East Coast stay in the upcoming months. However, what I found extremely noticeable was in a different Facebook group. The group was Thousand Trails, the really good and the really bad. A Tiffany had posted, a Thousand Trails rep called me this morning in response to an email I sent out over the weekend. She once again confirmed that the only park making changes to the closure date is Chesapeake Bay. She said they didn't have enough business last year and so upon review this year, they made the change. She also stated they received an unbelievable amount of calls due to the original post. People, please confirm the info you are spreading before inciting panic in other members. Not only does this stress out members wanting or having reservations, but it's causing a higher volume of calls when we already have a wait time to reach somebody. She went on to say, I saw the post about all Eastern campgrounds from New Jersey to Georgia closing for the winter and because we have reservations in that area all the way up through late December, I called to confirm this information. The Thousand Trails representative said there is no truth in this. Hope this eases some concern for others as it did for herself. So here's the nitty gritty truth that I went and investigated just today and yesterday. Now remember the original poster said all the 
1,000 trails campgrounds from New Jersey through Georgia were closing down. This is what I found out. I went state by state in the Thousand Trails directory and we'll start off with the New Jersey state which has six campgrounds. That is considered the northeast zone and sorry I'm looking down in my notes because I want to give you the accurate information. The Sea Pines, they do close on October 10th. Lake and Shore closes on October 31st. Chestnut Lake closes October 18th. And there are three trails collection campgrounds, Echo Farms, Maze Landing, King Nummy Trail, which all close on October 31st. Look who showed up. Riding around on his e-bike. What up? There's another person in here too with the same bike. I saw, I was driving back and forth. I thought it was you. I stopped over there because I thought you forgot like something and I had locked the door. So I was like, oh, mm. that's Dan coming back. But, oh, I forgot, I didn't bring my key. And I actually just rode up, I turned mine off and rode up after I got up the hill, of course, because that pedal assist is awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna head back out on my bike. It's, it's awesome. All right. This campground's huge. You can cut all it this is. out. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I'm alive. We're enjoying Branson. Birthday week. <laughs> <laughs> Later. We'll see it. Okay, I also went and checked out the New York State campgrounds. They also fall under the Northeast Zone. And they have 1,000 trails, which is Rondout Valley. And they do close on November 1st. And the four remaining campgrounds are Trails Collection. That's Lake George Shroon Valley, Lake George Escape, Brennan Beach, and Alpine Lake. Um, the Lake George campgrounds both close on October 11th, as well as the Alpine Lake. And the Brennan Beach closes on October 15th. Now, I will say I did not call Massachusetts, I did not call Maine, um, or Vermont, because they're already in the northern tier, and as the writer said, they normally typically close for the winter months. Now, I did, because the poster said it's also going down to through Georgia, I did contact all of the Virginia, the North Carolina, and the South Carolina um, campgrounds that fall under the southeast zone. So let's start with Virginia first. Okay, in Virginia they have seven campgrounds. Uh, Williamsburg does close down November 15th. Virginia Landing closes on October 28th. Lynchburg, October 31st. And Harborview, December 1st. Chesapeake Bay even though the website says it's open till December 31st, they actually are closing down on November 27th. And Bethpage and Grays Point are both trails collection campgrounds. They both close on November 15th. Let's go to North Carolina, another southeast zone. Lake Gaston closes on 1 November. Forest Lake is a Thousand Trails campground. That is open all year round, as well as um, the Trails Collection, Twin Lakes, and Goose Creek. All three of them said that they were open 365 days. And I called Whispering Pines. They're also a Trails Collection. They're open year round, 365 days. Now, there was another campground called Green Mountain in North Carolina. They are closing up on November 15th and Lake Myers is closing on October 31st, although the website shows that it's year round. I also checked into the South Carolina campgrounds. There's only two of them. Um, the Oaks at Port South and Caroline, Carolina Landing and they're both open year round. So that completes all the ones through Georgia. You notice I didn't mention Georgia at all because there are no thousand trails in Georgia, nor trails collection. So I don't know where the poster got the idea that there were any thousand trails in Georgia. And of course, all the Florida ones out in the Southeast zone are also open all year round. So keep that in mind. Now, I do want to get back into uh, Tiffany's response 
because that's a perfect example how someone that is posting false information, fake news as it be. So what I'd like to remind everybody is before you start posting to everybody on Facebook group where everybody thinks everything on Facebook is true, make sure you've got your facts straight. I go back to the poster and I've tried to join the, the group so I could let him know that his he's giving a lot of misinformation out there and he's inciting a lot of fear in people and that's probably what's causing all those overwhelming calls to find out what's going on people have for reservations are they just canceling them because they're taking this individual's word for it or what are they doing you know it's stress that they didn't need so I'm glad Tiffany kind of pointed that out as well because it would have been stressful for us if we had booked on the Eastern Board again what you need to do is you need to go to the Thousand Trails website you go to a specific campground and typically these are correct date informations where it says with if they're open year-round or what dates they operate however you still want to call the ranger station there and find out if those dates are accurate because as I went through and searched I did find some errors like Lake Myers in North Carolina the website shows year-round however they are closing on October 31st as well as Chesapeake Bay showing December 31st, but they're really closing up November 27th. So please keep that in mind. But we are gonna have a Thousand Trails review. We did purchase ours last January. Uh, we've been members effective one April technically, but uh, we've been using it since mid-February and we're going to share our review how we use it over the course of the year how much money we saved how much we spent and what we think about the tra uh, Thousand Trails campgrounds that we've actually visited so stay tuned for that video coming up probably the end of January sometime in February so if you found this video useful at all, please give it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And we'd really love you subscribing to our channel. All you have to do is hit that little button down there in the corner. And if you'd like to be notified the next time a video comes out, hit that notification button. So until next time, where will the road take you? Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights